we're flying in hot, landing that <laughs> Delta. That's, that's what's happening. Uh, the, the airline, of course. They talk about the Delta Airlines. That's what we're talking about here. I, I love how the states are like three or four months behind everyone else. It's like the whole, the entire world has been talking about this, and yet the states are just like, oh, it's over, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. So, <laughs> of course, if people are looking at everything that's going on, um, you know. Multiple films now are being delayed. There's more talk within Hollywood. The big trades have said it. This, we could be heading forward again. Of course, more delays. I, the first thing I noticed in that Venom trailer, the first thing I noticed was when it ended. I was like, bro, they scrubbed the release date from this, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, it's coming. And it helps that literally the week before. I was talking about it. I was like, guys, I'm, I'm hearing mumblings that this is probably going to happen. I think Venom might be our indicator because they haven't committed to the official release date with advertising yet. Like Shang-Chi has. And you look at that now, you're like, yeah. And we're hearing it's pretty much going to sweep across Hollywood that another set of delays are happening. And you know what? You look at Black Widow. That movie should have made more. But it can't because you literally can't release it in areas that don't have films the theaters aren't open so it's it, it, it's sad but i think we're definitely heading for another massive amounts of delays and shang chi's probably going to be our big last blockbuster and then i mean wb might pull dune or they might just toss it out there and let it get slaughtered i'm not sure but it's i mean dune wasn't going to make anything anyway no it wasn't it definitely wasn't and <laughs> Now it's gonna make even less. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just sad about Eternals. Yeah, no, I'm never, I, I'm never seeing that movie. I'm convinced. I don't, no, I'm just, I'm just sad that I'm never gonna hear the end of it from Spider-Man Twitter. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. That's oh. true. That means it, that that carries on even more. Yeah. But at least now they're gonna stop going on about the trailer because they think the trailer should be out by now because it's coming out in December. Whereas if they delay it, it's like, well, you, you can't. Uh, at least you can kind of forget about it a little bit until you're closer, depending yeah. how big the delay is, obviously. But I mean, there is hypothetically, if we look at Venom, and it keeps saying fall, Sony is sacrificing one film in theaters this year. We all know what it is, and it's Ghostbusters because that's committed to a yeah. release date. Yeah. Um, Ghostbusters is going to be their test, and as I've always said, and as you see online, as you see in retail stores. Ghostbusters, if you're a fan, you care. If you're somebody from the outside, you don't care. You have no call you have no connection or anything to this franchise because it's a for lack of better terms, as somebody who likes Ghostbusters, it's an obscure eighties franchise. Just like Alien mm -hmm. and Predator, it can't move the needle past where it always lands. It's like those underworld and Resident Evil movies. You always know it's going to make the same amount of money no matter what. So you produce it with half that budget and you make a small profit and you keep on going. Um, they're going to sacrifice that film. They're going to notice and they're going to pull Venom. Spider-Man's being pulled. And another reason you have to think of it this way is if Venom, let's say, gets bumped to late October to November, right? That means in a span of seven weeks, Sony is going to drop... Ghostbusters, Venom, Spider-Man, and Morbius? Get out of here. Like, they're not... Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. We're, another round of delays is going to happen on Sony's mm -hmm. front, and it's it's going to be a long time till we see Spider-Man or anything for Spider-Man. Yeah. 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 Like, when do you realistically think they're going to shift this around to? What do you think a new schedule looks like? I have no idea. I, I, I re part of me is wondering if it's just the summer movies that are going to get moved, and so like Venom, like is right at the end of the summer. Like if that just gets shifted back to that sometime next year, mm -hmm. or like takes the Mo the Morbius. I can call it Mobius then. Takes the Morbius spot, and then Morbius goes back to later in the year, and like stuff like Eternals and Spider Man stay where they are because mm -hmm. they're further away. That you no, know, they're far enough out where it's. So you have enough time for stuff to change, but yeah, yeah. that's how I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they play it out. But I would just hope that a couple of these studios can hash out some contracts and get them on streaming. But the... yeah, I, I mean, you know, in an ideal world, if these things weren't run by absolute 
fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe we could be in an ideal situation here, but apparently no. No, like, everyone's got to be moronic as hell. I, I, I don't mean, know what's going. On. We're, we're definitely going to talk more about that, but um, <laughs> just wait for more incoming delays. That's what we're telling you, because pretty much, yeah, yeah. Nick, we are right back in March of last year. Yeah, make no mistake, you're going to see more of them because if Clifford gets delayed. Guess yeah. what? <laughs> Other things are being delayed. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that big, big indication. No. <laughs> the biggest movie of the year.